All right, guys, this is a big one. I've been super excited to finally do this walkthrough. So this is Dark Souls Arch Thrones. This is a demo version of the full game that comes out probably in the next couple of months. Um, I don't know how much that they're actually going to change. So this came out about two weeks ago. There's enough information out now where I feel like I can do a solid walkthrough for you guys that are um, struggling with it. Um, it's not, you know, I think a lot of people expected a little more out of this. The first thing that we noticed in walkthrough prep is this is not really made for people who are anything but a strength user. <laughs> uh, we didn't really get to check, uh, test hexes and stuff, but uh, yeah, we're just going to show you the best way to do it. And by we, I mean me, Jason already did the walkthrough prep. But uh, the other thing you have to know about this is there's not a lot of souls and that's because the soft caps are 20, which is a lot lower than most Dark Souls games. Um, but yeah, I actually had a lot of fun with this one. We're going to chunk it out into parts. Obviously, usually we do these as live streams, but because this is so new, I think we're just going to do it as uh, parts just to make it a little more consumable. So um, yeah, I mean, I'm down to just get ready this way. I can edit it a little bit if you guys, that way we're not doing bosses over and over again. But uh, for those of you that haven't played Demon Souls, uh, this is probably why you've been struggling. But yeah, we're just going to send it. We're going to do a new game. So most of the side quests in this are either very short or almost non-existent. Like there's not much you get out of it. So the first thing I want to say, if there's anything that Jason and I missed in walkthrough prep and in this walkthrough, please type it in the comments down below just to help everyone else out. But for our starting class, you're gonna wanna go night because there's really nothing else. Um, and our starting gift is actually gonna be the black fire bombs. Appearance, I'm not gonna care about, we're good. Finalized creation, yes. So if you're a little out of practice with Dark Souls 3, this is a good start. We're gonna try and beat the boss first, which is why we bring the black fire bombs, uh, just because it gives you a really nice head start. You don't have to do it, like if you lose, you don't have to start over, but it definitely does help. Ideally, you don't want to get hit in the beginning because you don't you don't get much So now I, I'm not I didn't memorize exactly what every item is. I just know where they are So again, if I miss anything just post in the comments lightning urn Open it on up and we'll have to fight our first Lothric Knight So as you know with Lothric Knights, you can kind of just get behind them pretty easily Do -do -do. Boop and then you can just backstab him. Broken straight sword. Whoa. That one stung a little bit. So that's the way we want to go. Let's go over here, grab this, the Alluring Skulls, Soul of the Dead Corpse. Okay, so let's get our backstab in and then let's talk about this tutorial boss. Now this boss is kind of designed to be very, kind of a skill check, right? Um, he's got two phases. We, I call, okay, well, he's got what I call a half phase, which means a half phase is a boss. I think I'm coining the term here. Uh, a half phase boss is basically at the halfway point. There's gonna be drastic changes. That's what this one is. So they expect you to get through the first phase pretty easily if you're good at Dark Souls games. The second phase is a little harder because you can basically get insta-killed. Basically what you wanna do is survive through the first phase, heal up, switch to fire bombs, and just chuck the fire bombs at his head if you can get it down. Again, if you die, don't worry, you can continue the game. You just have to farm a little souls. Uh, otherwise, if you, if you kill him, uh, you will still die either way because he explodes and kills you, but you get his boss soul, which you can eat for 5,000 or you can get the boss weapon, but there's really no point, and we'll talk about why in a second. Standard arrow. So let's see if uh, recording luck is in, in my head here. All right, we're going to give this one shot because uh, I think most people will struggle with this. Even I still struggle with this just because the second phase is such a pain. So just run underneath him, start hitting him in the butt, and we want to get him down to about halfway. Come on. 
So once he's about halfway, that's when you want to take a little step back. We want to get him to do that butt drop again. Because if we can get him to do the dro butt drop, yep, we can get some extra hits in. And that's what we want. Oh, like that's not what I wanted at all. So watch out for the fire underneath him because that will one-shot you. Switch to your... Uh, your fire bombs. Oof. Wrong button, but that's okay. Firebomb right in the face if you can. So if you hit that fire that's underneath him, ooh, ow, it's an insta kill. So just be be ready for that. Oh, I might be dead here. Woo, safe spot. No, I was so close. <laughs> so if he does kill you, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, you still start out with zero. The only difference is you get his boss soul. And the problem with his boss soul is it gives you like a good start and you can get the boss weapon, but it's not, the boss weapons in this are pretty useless because the amount of stats you have to put in to use them are pretty much garbage and there's no new game plus. So it's not like you can really test them. So that's why we're pretty much going to eat every single soul that we get, except for the last one. The last soul that you get is actually a pretty solid weapon. In fact, it's like, it's like a congratulations. You beat the game kind of weapon. So, um, yeah, let's do this guys. We'll start from here. That chest has nothing in it. We assume that it's one of those. If you played, uh, I forget which dark souls it is, but like if any, things left like if let's say you an npc dies for some reason and their stuff drops off the map it'll spawn here uh we've never tested it again there's really no nothing in this that like will um is it from what i could think of there's nothing that you're gonna really miss so go through this guy this guy has kind of a pointless quest he kind of just disappears later again we haven't figured out this guy's stuff yet so uh, I don't think there's much to it. He teaches you some of the miracles, uh, but for the most part, he's pretty useless. Farewell. So talk to this guy. He's going to say um, whatever. He's the guy that draws out. Um, he's like Yule or whatever his name is. Yule from uh, Dark Souls 3. Same concept, but we actually have to physically grab something so that we can pull out our power. And even then, it doesn't actually pull out the power. Um, so yeah, but now we are in, uh, Nexus of Embers, which is basically Firelink. So let's talk to our girl. Coiled sword. Boom. Bonfire lit. Ooh. So let's just go through everything real fast. So this is Andre, as you guys know. He's our blacksmith. He will reinforce, infuse, transpose boss weapons if you want them. And then uh, repair equipment, obviously, which you'll never have to do. And then you can talk to him, do all that stuff. Pretty. Straight ahead to your left is going to be the merchant. So this guy sells some stuff. You can improve his inventory. Uh, the only thing you might want to buy is the embers. Uh, there's really no weapon in here that I felt was that good or that worth using based on stats. We're going to do a Claymore build. This is a pure strength build. So, um, yeah. So he's the guy. We will give him certain things later, like uh, certain drinks that will um, expand his inventory. Here's your Ashen Flask. And then press again. That's going to be the, um, uh, the armor set that we are going to use. For pretty much all of this. The only thing better is the Lothric Knight armor, and that's only the chest plate. So this guy's your storage. Tell the truth. Doesn't really matter. If you put, if you have rest. <laughs> so open storage box, and then you can keep excuse me, talking to him. Man, I ate way too fast and way too much. So now if we go up to the right... There will be this door here that is locked. So this has the, I guess you can call him like a chemist or an alchemist. So I forget what the, um, what is called an Elden Ring, but it allows you to mix ingredients and get a special potion. The problem is you have to craft them each time. As we said at the beginning, there's a lot of balancing issues with this game. And honestly, it's the most useless flask ever. So there's really not much in here except for the ability to allocate points. You would buy the um, key off the merchant down there. 
other than that, we'll, like, we'll probably do that much later just because I don't find it useful in the slightest. But it does unlock like a little mini invasion fight. So maybe we'll do that not as soon as possible, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Go to this side. Grab the chest for your binoculars. Boom, drop on down, and we are good to start. So for those of you that haven't played Demon Souls, this is basically the exact same idea. Uh, I think people who haven't played this, played Demon Souls, struggle because they think, oh, this is where I start and I have to finish it. The trick to Demon Souls is you kind of go back and forth from world to world. But uh, yeah, we're going to do most of this area. We're going to collect everything. And then we're going to, because once you get to a certain point, uh, it unlocks the other areas. We're going to collect everything, clear everything, and then after this video, we'll start doing bosses. So this is just going to be kind of a tear through. Um, to your right is going to be our shortcut. Right there is a Estes shard, I believe, or an unburned, uh, what's it called, an ash. Here's your first bonfire. So I'm going to Ember up because I feel pretty comfortable going through this area. I will say that Embers, there are not a lot of Embers in this. You can farm them, but um, I'm going to do most of this playthrough with Embers, realistically, just because. Um, but just know for multiplayer, you have to be Embered to spawn someone in if you're doing co-op. So right here, you can join the, I believe it's called the Knight. Uh, which which Covenant is it? I forget. What's the... What's the, the Black Moon Covenant? Dark Moon Covenant? Covenant. Uh, we can do this much later. We don't have the ability to do it now. We have to go get the flag, which we'll get pretty soon. Um, actually, towards the end of this level. This level is pretty cool because there's always like fights going on. And then you can kind of just sweep up the rewards. Reap the benefits. Uh, ooh, Ember right off the rip. I'll save that ember for a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't really need the Estus right now, so. Now, these guys are always annoying. What you doing? Nice. Angel Feather. So that's our first ingredient. Uh, ingredients will also spawn on the ground in certain places. Uh, as I said, we're probably not even going to use the... I believe it's called... For some reason in my head, it's called like the Wondrous Fix or whatever from Elden Ring. It's been two years since I played Elden Ring. But uh, platted it. By the way, no big deal. Uh, so as I said, there's really no use for it um, for the... Uh, the flask, really. But we'll go through what they do just because it is a full walkthrough. So that's another shortcut. So we have our first crystal lizard. We're going to wait for this guy to come to us. And then we're going to push the crystal lizard to the side. The reason we're doing that is because up there, there is a ballista. Um, and that ballista hurts, dude. Hurts. So try and push it to your right. Yep. And there you go. That's probably your Titanite shard. Watch out for the Lothric Knight. Just stay to the right so that you don't get hit. Once you get to here, you're kind of you're pretty much in the clear. It can't shoot downwards, which is funny. Ooh. All right, up on down. Let's fight this guy. Whoa. Oh, Lothric Knight armor right off the rip. Wow, that's nice. That is nice, fire arrows. That's a huge drop. I will be putting that on. I think I might be overweight once we get our first weapon, which we will get fairly soon. But we want to get Havel's Ring pretty fast. Yeet. Whoa. So 
to let these guys duke it out. Fight for me. Fight for me. You just have to watch out for the guy up there that throws down firebombs. Perfect. Turn around, drop on down. There's going to be a guy over here. I don't think he drops anything. I think he's just a easy kill. So we're going to drop here. If you play Dark Souls 3, you'll know this spot. Take out this guy. And this guy. Grab the ember. That'll be your first ember pickup. Then you're going to have a red eyes. Red eyes in this don't really hit much harder. I think they're just reskins of like the basic enemies. Armor set. Nothing else in here. Do, 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 do. Go on up. There's nothing over there. Go up and around. And we could take out that guy that was throwing stuff at us. Titanite shard. Nice. Sage old wrap. Drop. Drop. We will take out this dude. And right here is our next bonfire. So we have two ways to go, technically three, but two, one going that way, one going to our left. Um, I think for now, we're going to clear the area, get all the shortcuts, and then we're gonna come back and do the bosses. So we're gonna go through this whole area now, and then at the end of this video, we will get the Corinthy ring, which will help you a lot in the boss fights. So first things first, we're gonna go over, let's take this guy out. It's a tough area to fight him in, but these guys don't hit nearly as hard as uh, in base game. Got the halberd. So there's going to be a crystal lizard up ahead. Let's take him out. Nice. Right now we're basically just farming for souls. Like that's really all we want. Fire clutch ring. So this ladder just takes you back down to the um, bonfire that was right there. Where are you? I heard you drop. There you are. Oh. Well, okay. So this way actually goes to a boss that we have to fight. There's no uh, bonfire or anything. So we'll go clear the other way. Let me just go down and take these guys out. Because up there, there's not much you can really do. Beautiful. 2,500 souls. Not bad, not bad. With that, before we head on back, we're going to go grab our weapon. Luckily, oh, I'm sprinting. Ugh. Luckily, the Claymore is very early in the game. So let these guys fight it out. We're not here to collect anything except for this right here, which is your undead bone shard. And right here is our Claymore. The reason that the Claymore is so good, besides its scaling, is the fact that um, uh, it has such low uh, stats, stat requirements. So that's why it's really nice to use. Sweet. Travel back to the Nexus of Embers. So I believe we have to get our strength to 20 and our dex to 13. And I think we're already at 12 or 11 dex. So this will be pretty easy. So if next thing we're going to do, well, actually, first thing we're going to do is we're going to allot our Estus. We're going to burn our unbed, undead bone shard to get our Estus plus one. And then we're going to allot a lot a lot our Estus for uh we're not using any mana come on who, who are we kidding 
Then we're also going to pop our souls here, our little clusters. Sweet. Level up. So we want dexterity to 13 and our strength as high as we can get. 18 is pretty good. I'll take that. Uh, take that off. What's our claymore? At? Oh, okay. So what is it? Oh, 16 and 13. Perfect. So D and D. Nice. Nice. And with that, because we've already gotten some Titanite shards, we should be able to reinforce it at least once. Just once. Okay, cool. Brain. Level one. You might as well take your shield off because who cares? Who needs a shield? Um, and then we are good to continue. And as you can see by this point, you can go into all the areas. Um, there is a specific way you should do this, but uh, yeah. Uh, so we'll go back to the stables and we will clear to the next bonfire to the left. And then we will clear the rest of the area to the other two bosses. Um, and then we'll wrap this video up because this one, this one's probably gonna be the longest video, I think. So now you should be one tapping these guys pretty easily. Like the damage scale is so nice, so nice. All right, so now we're gonna get into this war a little bit. Oh. Good souls, good souls incoming. No shield poor guy poor guy so there's some ember blossom if you come over to this tree this is more of it that's just an ingredient as i said ingredients are kind of useless in this so titanite shard and we'll clear left first the bonfire is pretty much right behind this wall this is a short area chaos great scythe so for those of you that want to do a dex build, um, not a bad weapon. We're going to get a better scythe in a little bit. Uh, but as we told you guys, like this game's pretty brutal to anything other than a strength build. Don't forget to hit this. Boom. Uh, I believe there's something on this side too. Yeah. Humanity. Roll on off. Grab that human pine resin. I think that's the only human pine resin you get in the entire game, too. You'd have to buy it. Yeet. Roll through this. Drop on down. Fire bombs. So these guys are interesting. I think they're from Bloodborne. It's been a long time. But you want to kill them fast because they have like these tentacles that come out of their heads. Um, it doesn't, as far as we can tell, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, it's just they have more health. So over there's the boss. We're going to talk to this guy. He's going to give us, keep talking to him. He should give you the, um, is it this guy that gives it to you? Yeah, he gives you the Pilgrim's Emblem. So that allows you to join that covenant at the beginning. So... We're going to grab this. We will not rest because we're going to go backwards. Uh, and then we'll grab one item. And then we'll join that covenant. We'll go back to the War Torn Village just to show you guys how to get that uh, covenant. There are three covenants in the game, I believe, so far. Head up to the tree. 
Offer Pilgrim's Emblem. Pray. And with that, you can join the covenant. So this is the Dark Moon Covenant, um, I think, right? Now, this covenant allows you, if you get invaded, a uh, Blue Moon, not Dark Moon. The Blue Moon Covenant allows you to, um, if you get invaded, someone will come to help you, which is kind of nice. Uh, I don't want to abandon the covenant, but you can offer Blue Roseberry, Blue Rose Mary Beads, jeez. Um, yeah, we haven't gone through other covenants in this. So we don't know what they all do or if you even get anything out of it. But again, we don't really, we don't have much of a reason. So we're gonna go back to the village stables and now we're gonna clear right. And the right is like the long distance. Also, it's probably the hardest area in this. Bye. So all that's cleared. This just leads back up to uh, the tree where those guys are fighting. Let those guys on the right fight it out. We're gonna fight this guy. So these guys, again, they're slow. You can get behind them and backstab them. So they're really easy to deal with. Not my house. Another ember. Angel feathers. Who's got the most health? So that's the tentacle I was talking about. Nice. Now we got one of these guys. He's actually gonna fall. He's actually a booby trap. So I shouldn't say booby trap, but just a, just a trap. Um. I might just get the plunge attack on him and then work back up. Can't see. Thank you. So we're going to go this way. And this just takes us back up to where we were. Oh, he hits like a truck. Boom. Blue moon shield. As you guys know, I don't really use shields. I'm more of a dodging kind of guy parries are too uh awkward i think so this is where we just fought that big guy and that's where the tree is where the war is going on so drop on down grab the rusted coin and right here is an estus soup and then this just takes us back to here so now we can continue next area a little annoying because there's a ballista um other than that you should be able to get through it fairly easily just make sure you roll and kind of ooh fire gem i think that's the only fire gem i've ever seen in this so good to know you can farm those off those um so yeah as i was saying just be careful here because you want to kind of hug the wall you don't want to get hit by the ballista go this way mail breaker which we already start with so if you didn't start with uh, as a knight you that's your pickup right there run on down to the left now there's going to be a thrall in here as well yep ring firebomb let's see so once you get to that open area right there you're in the clear the ballista won't hit you so take this guy out Nice. We'll grab those in a second. Come this way. Heavy bolts. More fire bombs. Fire arrows. I don't believe that there's anything over here. Right. Yeah. Go straight. Take a left. Climb this ladder and let's take this guy out. <clears throat> Long sword. Boom. So we're going to have another crystal lizard to our left. You want to get all the crystal lizards in this game because there's not that many crafting materials. Uh, that's kind of one of the biggest uh, complaints that everyone has. You actually, as far as we know, you cannot um, max out a weapon because there's no titanite shards or chunks. 
Got it. Twinkling Titanite. Because there's no chunks, uh, you can only get your weapon to level 8, I believe. And even then, you have to farm for large Titanites. Um, which is not fun, because the farming in this is not terrible, but it's not great either. I don't know what percentages they used, but <laughs> they were the wrong percentages. Take that guy out. Nothing that way. Take this guy out. So uh, that's why we just dropped down for the lizard. Uh, we're not going to go that way just yet because that leads to a boss area uh, and leads to a shortcut. We will get that eventually, but we're going to get the next shortcut first. So watch out for these these guys. They're a little annoying, but also they can kind of hit you through the wall by accident. So grab the humanity, and then let's get that plunge on them. Swing! 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 Thank you. Now here's the second one. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I have three flasks left. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So if we hit this, this leads us back towards spawn. So right here's the guy that we fought before. There's the little fight at the beginning. And right straight ahead's the bonfire. So we don't have to do anything there, so we're just gonna continue on. And then we will get the I guess technically it's another shortcut. It's more like a long cut, but you know. So we're gonna take a right first. Hit this guy. Normally there'd be a statue here, but we're gonna get some purging stones. Human pus. Oh, human pus is a uh, in is an ingredient, by the way. Parrying dagger. armor so the best part about the claymore is the spin attack so that move right there you just sprint and hit r2 and uh it's gonna pretty much kill everything <laughs> 210 210 210 in this area is pretty nice so once we walk through here there's going to be a lothric knight an infected lothric knight um again his same move pattern nothing special about him just get behind him give him the backstab So if you go down that way, that is the end boss for this area. Uh, I think a lot of people struggle with him at this point in the game. And I even struggle with him. So we're not going to do him until like a couple worlds later. Definitely not in this video. We're just going to do the other three bosses. Um, well, we're not doing any bosses in this video, but you know what I mean. So through here, we're going to sprint and we're going to take out the lady first. We want to take her out before she can use her bell. Don't know if that counted. I don't know what hit me there, but all right. And that is why. So I guess he still spawns anyway. Ooh. So for those of you that have never fought these before, fire works really well on them. So if you have any fire bombs, you can use them. Uh, I'm just going to kind of wait for him to come to me. Eh. And they always drop a Titanite shard. So if you need to farm Titanite, <clears throat> there's a better farming location for them. But uh, uh, that's where you would farm it. Off those guys. Ember. You know what? Just because I have one Estus left, I'm going to Ember up. We're almost at a shortcut, but I'd like to get the other shortcut too in one go, but... I have a feeling I'm going to have to rest at some point. <clears throat> Lothric Spear Knight. Do it. Damn it. Swing. 
There we go. Good souls. Good souls. Human pus. Take the right. Now, there's going to be one of those big guys right here. The most annoying thing about this guy is he basically camps the shortcut ladder here. So you will be getting hit by him when you have to run to uh, the boss that's down here later when we're at that boss. But we're going to be so scaled well that, or so well scaled that it won't really matter. Boom, Estes Shard. Let's go. And this is the start of the map for those of you that are like, oh, how's this connect? Right? Here's the bonfire. Perfect. Do, 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 do. Let's rest on up. And you know what? Let's head back to uh, the Nexus real fast and do some leveling. Just because we have we have 7,000 souls. I know I'm covering my souls. But you should have about 7,000, give or take. Now, I just realized my green screen's a little off. And it makes me mad. Let's see. Do we have any? Nope. Okay, that's fine. So it's your choice. If you're getting hit a lot, I would go as high in vigor as you can. If you can get it to 20, that would be nice. I'm actually going to get my strength to 20 first because 20 is the soft cap, as you can see. Like now I'm only getting, I'm not getting much. So I'm going to go to 20 for right now. And then I'm going to start putting uh, into vigor. I'm going to get my vigor to 20. And then I'm going to start moving endurance up because endurance is going to start being your best friend later on. Whoa. <clears throat> Might as well get some souls in, right? So we're going to take this shortcut. So now we're going to clear the opposite way. We're going to clear to the next boss as well. And then we're going to come back and do all these bosses. Just because there's shortcuts that we can use that make this a lot easier. I would say out of all the maps, not to be rude to the developers, this is probably the most thought out one in my opinion. The rest are kind of... I would say a little, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, things don't seem to be where they belong. <laughs> but again, it's a beta, so we give them benefit of the doubt, of course. All right. So we got a big guy here. And then over there, we got one of those, uh, as you can see, I'm up there. One of those, um, what are they called? The uh, purple version of those guys. So we're going to try and lure them to fight each other. Unless you feel comfortable fighting them, but I'm trying to show you the best way to do things. So, eh. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. And now, eh. Roll. And then they should, whoop. They should fight it in a second. Yep. So we will grab this ember. Nice. Another Titanite shard. Sometimes that guy will drop the uh, twin blades, which are really nice. Twin axes or whatever they're called. So, first thing you want to do is jump down this way. <clears throat> uh, take these guys out. Where do they drop? Anything? Nothing. Sprint. Oh, for those of you that don't know how to jump, in Dark Souls 3, it's uh, sprint and then press the left stick in. Just because I know some people are like, oh, what? Why is it not double? It used to be sprint and then double press, but they got rid of that. All right. Let's clear this way. Just don't ring. Eh. Bye. Flamberg. So the Flamberg is a very good weapon. Does bleed. The only problem in this is like there's only one enemy in the entire game that actually bleeds. Wow. I think that's the first time I've ever been grabbed by one of those. Okay, I get it. I get it. 
Thanks. Hollow gem. I don't think there's anything else over here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think we're good. Ooh, human pass. All right. So we'll continue up to the boss. Go through here. Now this has not changed. Jump. And right here is your great scythe. Oh, no. I'm sorry. That's not the great scythe. Uh, I guess the scythe. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of the scythe from before. The one that we grabbed. Which one was it? For some reason, I thought that was the great scythe. Oh, no. This is the great scythe. So we did pick it up already. This is the better. This is the best dex weapon in the game uh, from what we saw. Uh, there are other dex weapons, but they're super late game, which is really weird. So uh, they're really... That's why it's just not worth doing a dex build. Boom. So this is a summons. That's the boss. But if we open this, you will see that we are already at the ballista that we started with. So right, this is the... If you go straight, that's where we just came. That's the bridge you walk over. The bonfire's to the left a little bit. So we're probably going to nexus on out. Um, just make sure you grab this chest ring of the evil eye and then we're just going to go back to the nexus because we're going to go get our first ring while we're here uh, let's just bone out bone to the nexus um, we're going to run to the second to last area just because the Corinthy ring is right at the beginning and trust me the Corinthy ring will I mean you'll need it so uh, let's just do a quick level here Give Estes Shard to reinforce our flask. Level okay. up. Let these Sweet. Well, okay. So let's go grab that Corinthy ring. Mm, we're going to go to the right. Uh, no, not the right. We're going to go left. I have to think. I'm doing these in my head. Travel. I believe it's this one. We want to go to the land of fire. Even though there's not really much fire just feels like it should be fire yeah this one so we can grab the stuff while we're at it just because uh the bonfire is up ahead just grab this which is a humanity go this way phoenix tower so you can actually almost the, the it's behind this statue here we're just going to sprint for it because we I don't think we'll... <laughs> As I was saying, we're just going to sprint for the uh, bonfire to our right right here. Right here is an ingredient. This is murky moss. Let's just rest real fast. So we're just going to run, grab this thing. So that's the rapier. Might as well grab that now. Go straight, go straight, go straight. Roll. And here is your Corinthy ring. Ow. Sprint. Sprint. All right, let's head back to the Nexus. And then we will continue with the uh, next, next episode. We'll do the bosses of the first area.